Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode 87. It's being brought to you by TheBeardedDetailer.com. Hey, have you ordered your Tri-Blend t-shirts yet for Tales of Honor podcast? I don't know why you haven't, but you can go over to TheBeardedDetailer.com, visit the swag store, and while you're picking out some good cleaning supplies made by Optimum Polymer Technologies right here in the good old U.S. of A., go ahead and put a Tales of Honor podcast t-shirt in your shopping cart and the Bearded Detailer shirt in your shopping cart. If you use the promo code TOH10, it's going to get you 10% off your order. doesn't get much better than that. Oh, wait, it does. 75% of the profit from your order is going to go right to the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Now it doesn't get any better than that. The Bearded Detailer, where your dirt is his business. And now, a tale of honor. Edward V. M. Isaac was born on the 18th of December, 1891, in Cresgo, Iowa, and was the youngest of nine children. He attended high school at the School of Assumption in Cresco and then the Wirtz Preparatory School in Annapolis, Maryland. After high school, Edward attended the U.S. Naval Academy and graduated in 1915 and was married one day after graduation. He was assigned to the USS Florida and then signed up for the Naval Transport Service. Once he transferred to the USS President Lincoln, Edward was taken aboard the U-90 German submarine as a prisoner of war after the USS President Lincoln was struck with three torpedoes and sank. It was Edward's actions while being held captive that earned him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, When the USS President Lincoln was attacked and sunk by the German submarine U-90 on May 21, 1918, Lieutenant Isaac was captured and held as a prisoner on board the U-90 until the return of the submarine to Germany when he was confined in the prisoner camp. During his stay on the U-90, he obtained information of the movements of German submarines, which was so important that he was determined to escape with a view to making this information available to the U.S. and Allied naval authorities. In attempting to carry out this plan, he jumped through the window of a rapidly moving train at the imminent risk of death, not only from the nature of the act itself, but from the fire of the armed German soldiers who were guarding him. Having been recaptured and reconfined, Lieutenant Isaac made a second and successful attempt to escape breaking his way through barbed wire fences and deliberately drawing the fire of the armed guards in the hope of permitting others to escape during the confusion. He made his way through the mountains of southwest Germany, only having raw vegetables for food, and at the end swam the river Rhine during the night in the immediate vicinity of German sentries. Edward and another American prisoner successfully made it to Switzerland on the 13th of October and were then on their way to London. Here he passed the information to Vice Admiral William Sims, who did not show much interest due to the war being nearly over. Edward was returned to the U.S. on the 11th of November and two years later would receive the Medal of Honor. He was medically retired from the Navy in 1921 and relocated to San Diego, California, where he would work for the newspaper and wrote from 1922 to 1928. Edward attempted to be elected into Congress in 1934 and was unsuccessful until he was elected in 1937 to the 75th Congress. He and 11 other senators and congressmen had visited the recently liberated concentration camps of Buchenwald, Dachau, and Nordhausen in 1945, and would co-author a report of the trip titled Atrocities and Other Conditions in Concentration Camps in Germany. Edward went on to raise cattle on a farm in Virginia and lived out his life in Bethesda, Maryland, and finally in Fairfax, Virginia. Edward died on the 18th of January, 1990, and was the last living Medal of Honor recipient at that time. He was survived by five children, 19 grandchildren, and 25 great-grandchildren. Edward V. M. Isaac is buried in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 3, Lot 4222-16. And that was a tale of honor.
Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. If you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell your friends and family. If you are checking out at the grocery store when you're listening to this, just tell your cashier, hey, I'm listening to Tales of Honor podcast right now, and you should too. Maybe not at that very minute, but you should. You can see more information on Facebook, Instagram, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. <laughs>